Hi, Michael. Thank you for joining me today. And uh, before we start the interview, first, could you please introduce yourself and uh, tell me a few words about your project? Uh, it's my pleasure to be here today, Valeria. My name is Michael Feldstein. Um, I run a company called Eliterate. Um, we work in the primarily in the United States, primarily with colleges and universities, helping them use technology to improve education. Um, I have a long background in educational technology. I've worked at uh, what the third largest textbook publisher in the country, helping them develop what is their flagship um, software uh, for uh, teaching um, that serves millions of students every year. Um, I worked for Oracle um, and I co-founded a, start a startup um, so I have a, a fair bit of experience developing educational technology. Oh, well, uh, that sounds amazing. Yeah. And your project, as far as I understand, is uh, an AI-powered tool to uh, improve the way the uh, university curriculum is created, right? Yes, this is very important. Um, so we're working with um, a group of colleges and universities, many of which serve underserved students, first time college students, minority students, uh, students in poor or urban environments. Um, uh, and the, it's a mix of colleges and universities that serve a total of about half a million students. And as you would imagine in, in the, an environment like that, where skills are changing, AI is changing jobs, jobs are just changing. Um, it's very important to develop new courses for these students that serve their needs um, and their background. And this is very difficult for all of these colleges and universities of all sizes. So we're, we're testing um, through a project working with these um, institutions. We're uh, going through a six month design build workshop series in which we're going to build an AI application mm -hmm. together um, to test to see whether artificial intelligence can help them develop courses that will serve the needs of these students um, more quickly and economically. Yeah, wow, that sounds really, really cool. Really socially important project. So yeah, we're, we're really happy that we can assist you in developing it. And uh, returning to the very beginning of your project, could you please describe your experience of first interaction with Forasoft? What were your like, first impressions of team? Yeah, so uh, my first impressions um, with the business conversations before uh, we got started were very, very positive. I interviewed a few different firms um, ranging from um, a, a large firm that I work with frequently in the United States. This is very good, um, but uh, costly um, to um, individual contributors to a couple of firms roughly in or a soft size. Um, and I was impressed from the beginning uh, with the professionalism of the organization, um, the way in which um, your, uh, your leader um, helped uh, define the project, explain mm -hmm. expectations, uh, helped me navigate the software that we needed to um, begin the engagement, um, and outline what is a very familiar professional process for me. Well, thank you. Thank you for your words. And uh, uh, over the time of us working together, what do you think about the progress of your project so far? I'm very pleased with the first release, which we mm -hmm. were in um, testing with right now. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, It's almost ready for my customers to see in a few weeks um, and i think we've made great progress um, we've already started working in parallel on the second release mm -hmm. um, the team has uh, done a great job of um, staying uh, close to budget um, and schedule keeping me informed of, of their progress um, adjusting with me as we learn new things and get new ideas and suggesting new ideas about how to make the project better. Wow, great. Yeah, you, you mentioned just 
these three right factors <laughs> to maybe evaluate any development team. But uh, have there been any notable differences between your expectations before the development and the actual progress of the work? Well, this is actually remarkable. I would, I would say the, that my expectations were pretty close to what I got. Um, um, usually, you're disappointed. Um, if anything, I'd say that the work has progressed more rapidly than I expect. I tend to be conservative because software development is hard and it usually uh, runs into problems uh, that you can't anticipate. But uh, the Forsoft team has kept us a little bit ahead of schedule, I would say. Oh, great. Good to know. And uh, in this sense, what do you think we're especially good at? Maybe like flexibility, uh, professionalism, tech skills, like anything like this? Yeah, so there's a whole set of practices mm -hmm. that go under the umbrella of agile yeah. software development. And, and people think about it differently. But if you put all of the pieces together, what it comes down to is um, communicating well so that you can um, stay on time, on budget, and yeah. generate, respond to new ideas um, together as a team. Mm -hmm. And there's just a whole set of practices uh, that come together. And you can, if you do enough software development, you begin to recognize the hallmarks of a team that knows how all of those different practices fit together into mm -hmm. the way they interact with you. So it's not just one thing. Yeah. I would say that my experience with Forsoft has been that it works as a, as a very accomplished agile software development shop, mm -hmm. which is exactly what I needed. Mm -hmm. And uh, speaking about your background in development, like educational software projects, uh, how mm -hmm. has that knowledge helped you in working with us? I mean, how well do we communicate all these technical details, all these uh, specific software development stuff to the clients, in your opinion? Yeah, yeah, that's a great question because the quality of communication that the client brings to the engagement makes mm -hmm. a big difference. And um, it, in my case, um, I have to make sure that I am telling the developers enough about why certain features are needed by the customers so that they can bring their creativity and say, well, we can't build it that way. Or if you want that, we can do it a better way. Um, uh, but at the same time, not over specifying, mm -hmm. um, not telling them I need a purple button that goes exactly here and does exactly mm -hmm. this for the same reason so that they can, uh, they're creative professionals and they, they can bring their skills to the table. Um, and then I also need to be able to uh, communicate priorities, um, interact uh, with suggestions and make it clear um, what's important to do first, second, and third, and why. So that as we, as the project continues, our, our working together, our, our um, collaboration should improve. And that's exactly what I've found has happened with Forsyth. Yeah. Oh, thank you. And uh, on the other hand, is there anything that you wish that Forsyth would improve maybe? Not really. I, uh, they very much met expectations for me. Um, the, the, every client or every, every company has a sweet spot and a fit for a, a particular type of work. I was looking, since this is a minimum viable product mm -hmm. and I was getting a lot of feedback from customers, I was looking for a company that can strike a balance between um, good um, project management practices and not being too heavyweight and process bound and Forsoft has been perfect for me for that. Yeah. And speaking about maybe tech as part of the development, have there been any tricky challenges during the development? Uh, Oh, it's not fun unless there are tricky <laughs> challenges. Yes. Yeah. Um, this, and we know, of course, um, AI is inherently tricky it's it's software that's it's designed to be a little unpredictable mm -hmm. and 
it evolves all the time um and we don't exactly know how it will behave when we do certain things with it um and uh in fact there have been changes i think twice just since we started developing the first um iteration uh, of, of our project where chat gpt has changed in ways that actually helped us that might have gone the other way but we've been lucky both times so far um so so it's it's um it, it, this again is also why agile is important and working with a shop mm -hmm. that understands agile is important um there are always challenges mm -hmm. um and um if you do the project right, then those challenges become opportunities. And uh, do you feel we're doing the project right? So how well we've handled these challenges? I'm, as I said, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. very happy with the first iteration mm -hmm. and very pleased with our progress towards the second iteration. So I would say Forsoft is doing very well. Mm -hmm. And uh, in more numerical terms, on a scale of one to five, how would you rate our performance, including professionalism, engagement, and communication? Five. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your kind words. And uh, anything else that is important to you in a project like this? Uh, any other factors that you consider important? I'd say... Um... It's very important to me that I work with a firm um, where the people that I'm dealing with are concerned about me as the customer um, and are honest with me about mm -hmm. things that are going well and things that are not going well. Um, it's very easy in this world of contract software development to get uh, a, a vendor who just treats you like, you know, Here's yeah. the code, give us a paycheck. Um, and I've been very pleased with every single Forasoft employee that I've interacted with. I felt um, cared for and listened to um, and responded to, and that, that's unusual. Mm -hmm. And uh, considering all of this, would you collaborate with Forasoft on future projects or would you recommend us to others? Yes and yes. <laughs> Great, thank you. Anything else you'd like to share about your experience with Forasoft, maybe? I, I, I just, I, I recommend mm -hmm. the, the company. I, I think you, you deliver um, good software practices and um, creative um, uh, collaborative work uh, at a good price. Um, so it's, uh, I, I really can't think of anything negative mm -hmm. to say. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for your words. And I think that's it for the interview. So uh, thank you for joining me today for the for your participation. Wish you all the best with your project. And well, uh, it was nice to meet you. Have a great day. You Bye. too. Thank you.